guys, welcome back to my channel. We are testing out some new drugstore makeup today. I was in my local Walmart yesterday and I have not actually bought makeup in a store for over a month. I know I just posted a video, but that stuff was bought before my full month of nothing new. So I was on a bit of a, I wouldn't call it a binge, but I did pick up a few things I'm very excited to try with you guys today. I have a new eyeshadow palette here that was around $10 that I'm super impressed with the quality of this. I also have a new foundation that I was a little bit on the fence about as I was applying it, but as it's kind of all come together, I'm actually really happy with how this look turned out and how everything performed. I've got a new bronzer, a new blush highlight duo that was under $3. Needless to say, this one is going to be fun. Before we get into it though, I wanna give a special welcome to any of my new visitors here. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I hope that you enjoy this video. Please consider subscribing to my channel before you leave and make sure notifications are turned on. With that said, let's get right to the makeup. So let's start with prepping the skin. The foundation that I am trying out for the first time today does say that it's a mattifying foundation, which I normally don't like. I didn't even read that on the packaging. I just saw the word blur and I was like, that sounds like something that might be nice for me right now. I do find that my pores in the center of my face are, they're getting larger every year. So we're gonna try this out today, but I do wanna use something hydrating underneath. I don't have anything new, so we're just gonna reach for my Pacifica primer. I consider this like the best of both worlds in a primer. It's very hydrating and glowy at the same same time like it's genuinely hydrating it actually I almost think it's like serum like it softens your skin up in a very kind of serum like way oh that feels so good okay so let's jump in with the NYX bear with me blur foundation this says that it is a medium coverage foundation and it has a matte blurred finish I have a really good feeling about the shade match of this one today this is the shade 8 golden light I think my face right now might be tanner than it has ever been. I actually don't even think it's my face is tanner, but like my neck and my shoulders are darker than they've been in a few years. So to get my face to match, I really have to go a lot darker than I'm used to going. Oh, that's a very thick foundation. Do you guys see how it's just kind of maintaining its perfect little shape? It looks like a little candy droplet. So this is a squeezy tube. It kind of looks like there's not a lot of product in here, but it does have an ounce, 1.01 fluid ounces. Today I want to blend it with a sponge. I did pick up a new sponge, a new set of sponges actually from Wet n Wild. I wanted to show you guys the difference. So this is a little twin pack that I just got. This one is wet. I just wet this one. This is what it looks like dry. So it expands quite a bit. In fact, as I was pulling these out of the package, I thought to myself, these seem smaller than what I remember them being. It's been a while since I bought a new one. And then I wet the sponge and this one, I feel like this is bigger than my other ones get. Like I have an old one right here that I probably should throw away now. This one, when I wet, does not get quite this big. So maybe they've changed it just a little bit. Okay, now I'm actually getting nervous. I feel like this might be too dark. It's looking very like Oompa Loompa on me. <laughs> Man, why is it so hard to get your foundation match just right? So I'm blending it out, it doesn't look quite so bad. I'm not noticing a ton of coverage from this, surprisingly. I feel like I, I'm seeing the shade of the foundation. It's definitely there because I can see the color being a little bit different than what is underneath it, but I don't feel like I'm getting coverage on the spots. Like I have my, these spots right here, which are quite faint, usually are pretty easy to cover. Most foundations around medium coverage will cover those up. I just feel like I'm not getting a lot of coverage out of this, unfortunately. Kind of hesitant to put more on. Maybe we'll do just like a half, a little bit more just in the center and the areas that I need some extra coverage. Tiny spot more. There we go. Just put it right here, kind of over these spots on this side. I'm gonna run just a little bit down underneath my neck because I have, it's very like fair right here and then my tan is kind of this like weird tan line from my the shadowing of my face or maybe my hat shade match is okay i mean i know my arms are always going to be a little bit tanner than my face but i do feel like this is gonna kind of blend in with the rest of my skin pretty well it went on a little bit strongly yellow i was worried there for a minute but now that it's blended i still am feeling I mean, that did help a little bit i do feel like i got a little more coverage out of these areas right here i would say built up it gives me a medium coverage but i don't know that this i mean i guess i haven't tried putting three layers on a foundation i almost never would do that because it would just be too much foundation on my mature skin so i would say this is a solid light medium coverage just comparing to what I'm used to in a medium coverage foundation like the L'Oreal 
right here. I think this is a little bit a little bit lighter of a coverage, at least so far. I'll keep playing with it and let you guys know. It does have more of a matte finish, but so far it doesn't feel dry on my skin. So I am going to set this down just a little bit with powder. Actually, before I do that, let's add some concealer. I'm gonna use my Physicians Formula Butter Concealer today. This is the shade Light Medium. Just want a little bit under my eyes, on my eyelids. On the sides of my nose right here. And then I'm gonna take the shade medium tan and use that on some of these little blemishes and spots here on the perimeter. Okay, skin's looking pretty nice right now. I forgot to mention the price on the foundation. So this was $13.97 at Walmart, which is probably the cheapest place you can find it. So not the cheapest foundation. That's a little bit up there, but I'm kind of liking it. I feel like my skin looks really nice. Is it blurring my skin? I mean, I don't know. I feel like that's something that takes me, it takes me a little time to figure something like that out. I'll keep checking on my skin throughout the day and see if I notice a difference. I'm gonna take a little bit of powder. This is just the e.l.f. Halo Glow Powder and set down my eyelids, my forehead, I don't want to use too much powder because this is not a dewy finish. I don't want to dry out my skin. All right, let's move on to some bronzer. I did pick up a new bronzer. This is not a new bronzer. In fact, I've had another shade of this that I decluttered. A few of you have been telling me for years to try shade number two of the Milani Silky Matte Bronzing Powder, so I finally picked it up. And we're gonna try it out today. Here's what it looks like in the pan. I feel like it still looks kind of light. They actually didn't have a shade one there, so I couldn't really compare them side by side. But let's just jump in and give it a try. It looks like a really pretty shade. I'm going to take this on my Sydney Grace brush. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, that's much better. In fact, I almost feel like maybe I went a little bit too heavy handed. I'm still kind of used to shade number one, even though I haven't used it for years. That one I had to build up a ton of product in my brush because it just was a little bit too light and it was pressed pretty firmly so not a lot of product would deposit on your brush when you dip into the pan. This one is definitely a better option for me. And by the way, the price on this one, $10.97. The next thing I picked up is from Revolution. This is from the Makeup Revolution brand. They have these products. I tried a few things out from this line already a couple months ago. Very, very cheap stuff. I think I think I found a foundation for like under $5 that I actually really liked, a serum foundation. And then this, which is a highlighter and a blush little duo, which is, it reminds me of the Bite Size palettes from e.l.f., but much larger. This was so cheap. I think it was $2.97, $2.98. So yeah, three bucks for this little thing. I'm excited to give it a try. Let's start off in the blush. I'm actually gonna use the same brush that I just used with my bronzer. You guys have to show you something. So I just finished washing all of my brushes. These are like my staple brushes. I have other ones I sometimes dip into, but these are the essentials. I've got my rougher, my Sydney Grace, and then my Persona brushes just sit on my desk here in front of me. I just finished washing them yesterday. And I'm so bad when I wash my brushes, I don't want to use them. Like I want them just to stay clean for a couple of days. This is kind of how I am when I do laundry. Anyone else do this? You feel really good when your laundry's all done, but you know it's only gonna last for like six hours. That's how I am with my brushes. I'm trying to prolong it maybe an extra day or two. But let's just use the same brush. We're gonna dip into the peach shade right here. By the way, this is the one, this is called Sweet. Had a couple different color options of this. Had a different, different blush colors and highlight colors. This does look like a really light blush color. Hopefully it will show up on me. Yeah, it's definitely a lighter blush color, but it's very pretty. It's not invisible. I think it will work better for me in the winter time or if you have more fair skin. They had another one. I, I don't know what that one was called, but it had a very like a reddish orange, kind of a deeper terracotta sort of shade. But the highlighter in that one looked too dark for me or too gold. So I ended up going with this one, even though that's the one that I, I really wanted to try out the blush. I should have just got them both. They were three bucks a piece. It's like a decent formula, kind of basic. We'll see how it lasts on my skin, but I was able to build up some good color with that. Kind of felt like I went a little bit, a little bit wide with the spread. I'm just gonna go around the edges, blend some of that out, but I like the color, very natural looking. Let's have a look at this highlighter. I'm gonna give it a little swatch with my finger. 
a little bit chalky, has a little more yellow in it than I typically like, but it's not bad. Sometimes swatches are not great. In fact, the first time I swatched the Revlon Skin Lights highlighter, I was very unimpressed, although this one had a bit of a film on the top of it. Like once you dig into this highlighter, it gets better. So highlighters can be kind of tricky that way. Let's see how this one looks. Actually, let's start over on the cheeks. Okay, it's definitely showing up. Although, I have to say, this is one of those highlighters that I'm feeling like is showing some texture on my skin, which I don't have a lot of texture right here. So anytime a highlighter emphasizes a little bit of texture I have there, usually I know it's not gonna be my favorite highlighter ever. The color is pretty, just not sure I love the formula so much yet. It's just not quite as smooth looking as some other highlighters can be. It is quite intense though. If you like a good highlighter, like on your shoulders in the summertime, like this is one that I would like more on my like collarbone or shoulder blades if I'm at the pole and if I'm do that, I don't do that really. But sometimes I imagine if I was in Hawaii, I might, which I don't think I ever did that when I was in Hawaii either. Okay, so there's the highlighter. I don't hate it. I don't know that I love it. I actually like the blush, I think, a lot more than I did the highlighter. I just think it's emphasizing a little bit more texture on my cheeks than some of my favorite highlighters do, but that's okay. Let's move on to, actually before we do eyeshadow, I don't have a new eyebrow product. Let's just throw something in my brows. Grab this right here. This is the Flower Beauty Draw the Line Brow Pencil in the shade, I think it's blonde. I really like this brow pencil. It's much fatter, like chubbier than I typically like. If this was a skinnier version, I would like it a lot more, but it is really nice and waxy and it goes on really quick and the shade is great if they sell this. I know Flower Beauty's, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with their brand. Okay, so let's add a little bit of brow gel. I'm gonna take my BH Cosmetics Meta Hold, Meta? Mega Hold Laminate Brow Gel. Let's take a little dot between two fingers and then I just kind of press it into my brows and quickly grab a spoolie. It does dry relatively quickly. All right, brows are done. Let's move on to eyeshadow. I have a new eyeshadow palette. I saw this in my Walmart. It is the Physicians Formula Butter Eyeshadow Palette. They've been sending me a lot of these butter products. So when I saw this in my drugstore and saw there was only $10, I think, let me check my receipt really quick. I think it was only $9.99, not quite, $10.98. So just around $10. I actually thought that was a decent price. Usually Physicians Formula stuff is quite expensive. Some of their palettes can get up closer to $20. And this totally gave me like Too Faced vibes with just the different pan sizes and the different finishes in here. Even the color story kind of is giving me like chocolate bar color story vibes. I don't know. The main reason I got this, cause I'm obsessed with the smell of these new Butter Glow products. They all smell so good. I've been loving so many of them. So I thought we would give this a try and add it to my growing collection of Physicians Formula products. So let's do that. I'm gonna insert right here a close up of the swatches for you guys. I'll go ahead and swatch everything so you can see what the color story looks like swatched on my arm. Today we'll probably keep things pretty simple. We're gonna start in this matte shade right here. For that, I'm gonna take my Sydney Grace blending brush and we'll start throwing this in the crease. Sorry guys, I turned off the AC for this room, but our AC unit is like right outside my window there. So anytime the AC turns on for another room in our house, you can hear it kind of buzzing out there. And it is hot today. I know a lot of us are feeling the heat wave right now. Super hot here and windy, hot and windy. That's one of the worst combinations. I mean, let's be honest, I hate wind and I live in probably one of the windiest, windiest places in the country, I would imagine. I don't know, maybe those of you in Wyoming might be able to argue with me. We don't have a lot of houses around us. We have a lot of farmland around us, so nothing blocks the wind from us when it is windy and it is it just beats upon our house. If you walk outside, it just hits you right in the face. And hot wind, I don't know, makes you feel like, like every water particle inside of your body and every plant outside is just like evaporating and shriveling. Okay, I'm gonna add some of that same color. It's just a smaller blending brush. We're gonna run that on the lower lash line, just kind of building it up right along the edge of the brush. I'm gonna run this kind of far in, like a little more than halfway. 
kind of thinking I want to do like a light smoky eye, as in like light in color, but really like build it up on the lower lash line. Okay, so I wanna, quickly I wanna finger swatch these two shades right here. This is kind of like a warmer gold. This is more of a, kind of a yellowy gold. Just give these both a little swatch here on the back of my hand. Ooh, these feel really nice. Ooh, look at that coppery gold. That's pretty. It's not overly orange. Coppery golds are so tricky. Some of them I love, and some of them, if they have just a tiny bit too much of like an orangey red in them, sometimes I don't like them quite as much on me. So I wanna try this one and see, see how it looks on the eyes. The, the swatch looks promising. It looks a little bit more soft, like a little bit lighter. That's pretty. Mm, I like that a lot. This side, I'm just placing this on the center of the eyelid and then I'm gonna add a little bit of something lighter on the inner part of the lid. Part of me really wants to try out this silver but I wanted to go warm tone today but let's give it a swatch. I'm curious about this formula, it looks a little bit, ooh, that's pretty, oh my gosh. Looks different. So here's, oh wow. That's like Sydney Grace level metallic. That's really nice, you guys. I'm impressed with these formulas so far. That matte was really nice and blended out well. I mean, that was just one little swipe through that silvery shade. That's a beautiful taupey silver. Mm, I love a shade like that. Now I'm debating between this shade right here, which is like, it's not really a shimmer. This is more of a satin. It does have some sheen in it for sure. That's pretty. Kind of like a pinky champagne. And then this shade right here, which has even more pink in it. More of like an icy kind of pink. Oh, that's beautiful too. Sorry guys, I'm running out of space. It's a little bit brighter as well. So there's those two shades. I'm kind of wanting to go with this one. Let's try that one. I might end up doing a tiny bit of the icy pink just on the very inner tear duct, but I'm gonna take a good amount of this on my pinky finger. Pop it on the inner third of the lid kind of drag it over that coppery color to kind of blend them together. Okay, I am really liking this palette so far. I wanna add just a tiny bit of depth. I know I said I wasn't gonna to go too dark. I'm gonna still try not to do that, but I want to try a tiny bit of this darkish brown. It's still not that dark. I mean, it doesn't look that much darker than the shade above it. We'll see how it goes on just on the edge of this smaller blending brush. I'm just gonna dust that right along the upper lash line towards this outer corner and kind of feather it. Feather it in just a little bit. These do smell really good. They're not quite as strong as like the bronzer or the contour palette or the concealer smell, but you can subtly smell that wonderful butter scent that they're famous for. I know some people don't like it. I feel like most people do. If you're sensitive to smells and you don't like sweet scents, you probably don't like this smell very much. Okay, that looks really nice. I do wanna put just a tiny bit on the inner corner. Not really because I need it, just because it's there and I wanna try it and try and use as many shades as I can since this is my first time using this palette. So just with a tiny pinpoint brush, this one's from Refer, we're gonna take just a little bit of this pink right here and pop it on this inner corner. Let's add a little bit of eyeliner. I'm gonna take a little bit of my Wet n Wild its lid is breaking. It's the only bad thing about these. The lids do break pretty quickly. Just gonna do a little baby wing here, right up against the lashes. So my kids recently have pulled the Wii, like the old school Wii out of hibernation and they just bought a new, it's actually, I don't think they actually make this game anymore, Wii Sports Resort. Any of you remember that game? It's like we've stepped back into 2007. It's been so funny. We've only had it for two days now, but all of my kids are obsessed with like the Frisbee dog game and the sword games, like the fruit slice game. If you guys ever play these. We're not the biggest video gamers around here. Like my kid, my boys have never had like a PlayStation or, a, or an Xbox, but we do have a Wii. So it's fun to see that kind of come back out. When it's this hot, sometimes you just gotta stay inside and play video games. <laughs> okay, so I don't have a new mascara per se, but I do have this little sample that I got at Christmas time. This is the, this was in a sampler from Sephora. This is the Lancome Lash Idol. 
I actually really like this. I pulled this out a couple of weeks ago and tried it out for the first time. I'm pretty impressed. I mean, I know this is a pretty pricey mascara if you buy the full size. I am fortunate enough to have a coupon that once I, here's the dilemma. Once I try out all the samples, I can pick one and redeem it for a full size, but I think I still have two left to go because I don't like opening them all up at once. So I think this is my third one. I've tried out the Rare Beauty one. I can't remember. I don't think I was that impressed with that one either, but this one has been my my favorite so far. So I might just jump in and get the full size of this one. Okay, I'm gonna finish this off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, eyes are all finished. What do you guys think? I think they look very good. I love the eyeshadow. Let's move on to the lips. So I don't have anything new for lips, but I did want to show you guys. The other day I tried out the Essence 8 Hour Matte Lip Pencil. I had a couple new shades, including this one, Cool Mauve. And I think I mentioned in that video that I did not think this shade would work very well for me. I've already changed my mind on that. I've used it for the last couple of days and found that I actually really like this shade. So we're gonna use it today. I really like it for just overlining my lips. So let's go ahead and Add a bit of this. Kind of smudge it in as we go. It is quite pink, but I think I can kind of get away with pinks when my skin's a little bit more tan. I can get away with a brighter pink than I would normally like. Okay, I'm gonna let that set for a sec. Let's go with this. This is from Milani. This is the Milani lipstick in the shade Pleasure. I think I can't remember when I tried this out, you guys. I totally forgot about this lipstick. It's kind of a matte peachy pink nude. Let's add some gloss. So I also have this. I picked this up a couple of months ago, but I haven't had a chance to use it for you guys yet. This is from the brand About Face, same brand that I've been raving about, the lip liners, these little lip liners from for the last few months. This is one of their glosses and it's such an interesting color. This is their Light Lock Lip Gloss and this one's in the shade Prelude. It's kind of like a shimmery white that has a gold reflect sparkle through it. It's really, really interesting. I don't think I own a gloss that's quite like this. It's relatively sheer, but it just gives it this like gold, kind of golden shine on top. I'm still kind of playing around with this one. So it's very comfortable. That is one thing about, I actually picked up two shades of this gloss, super comfortable. It kind of reminds me of the feel of the Rare Beauty glosses if you've tried those. It's not the glossiest looking lip gloss, but it is super comfortable. It has that pretty kind of gold sparkle in it. I think it's really fun and really different. All right, and let's have one final look. So this is everything. I love how the eyeshadow turned out. I can't wait to keep playing with this. I'm really interested to try some of the, like the silver out and maybe like the purple. I'm pretty happy with this. I think this is gonna be a fun addition to my collection. Love how it smells. I know that's not the most important thing, but it is to me. As for the other things that we tried out today, I'm very happy with the blush not as much the highlighter even though I think it looks okay now that everything's kind of had a minute to sort of settle into my skin I don't think it's quite as bad I did kind of go back and sort of like tap it out or press it into my skin with my sponge which I think helped a little bit but considering this thing was under three bucks I mean the blush is really beautiful very interested to maybe try out that other shade of blush that they had I'll have to maybe do that in the near future as for the foundation I'm really liking how my skin feels so far I'm still kind of like look trying to like analyze my I need to put my glasses on to do this it's pretty sad like I'm trying to decide if I think it's blurred the larger pores I have in the center of my face. I don't really know yet. That's gonna take me some time to figure out, but the coverage ended up being okay. I had to use a little bit more product, but the finish is really nice. I actually think it feels really comfortable. It looks very pretty on the skin. I will definitely keep you guys posted. I'll keep an eye on this throughout the day today. Super happy with the bronzer. This is a much better shade match for me. You guys were right. Shade number one, if you have extremely fair skin, will probably be great for you, but if you have even just like light skin or even light medium skin, this seems to be the perfect shade of bronzer and I actually really like the formula as well. And I think that was everything. Let me know what you guys thought of some of these new drugstore products. I know some of these aren't brand new, but have you guys tried them out? What do you guys think of this foundation, especially for those of you that have more oily skin or that have a lot to cover? Did you find it to be a little bit less high coverage than you were thinking it might be. That's kind of how I felt, but I don't dislike it and I'll keep playing with it and let you guys know. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for stopping by. Stay tuned. I do have some new higher end products that I have ordered that will be coming hopefully in the mail soon. So that should be coming up shortly. Let that be a reminder. Make sure you subscribe before you leave, but that's going to do it for today. Thanks again, you guys. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.